Hey guys, in this video I'm going to do a full comparison and a speed test between the iPhone 6 versus the Galaxy J7. I already did the same video with the Galaxy J5, you can check my channel out for that video. So let's just get straight into it. So first of all, starting off from the build quality, uh, the iPhone 6 is like a premium phone. We all know that it has, like in the price of iPhone 6 in my country, it, it, you can actually buy two Galaxy J7s. I mean. J7 is coming at 221,000 PKR while the iPhone 6 is coming at 65,000 PKR so it's like a big difference there uh, so yeah and the price why iPhone 6 is really worth it uh, if we take a look at its build quality it's full aluminum uh, and also versus the Galaxy J7 which is like using a full plastic build so uh, but definitely with this plastic you're gonna get a removable back which a lot of people do enjoy using this feature that Samsung has actually dropped in the Note 5 and the S6 uh, we got the removable battery uh, you can insert any substitute battery and we do got dual sims now dual sims removable back and removable battery something that is not iPhone 6 doesn't have not any iPhone have so that's also good things that we get with the J7 now taking a look at the screen on both phones the iPhone 6 has a 4.7 inch screen versus the 5.5 inch 720p screen here on the on the Galaxy J5 of course the iPhone 6 Plus is available with a bigger screen 5.5 inch 1080p uh, but rest of the specs are same as the iPhone 6 uh, and definitely you need to pay like a little bit more money than the iPhone 6 uh, at 16 gigabyte model uh, which will cost you around like 70,000 with the iPhone 6 6 plus so uh, definitely prices will go down with the iPhone 6s but don't expect too much um, also if we take a look here in terms of the software we are running iOS here versus the Android 5.1.1 lollipop uh, if you talk about the smoothness even though it is way cheaper than the iPhone 6 it's performing uh, really really well really optimized not gonna notice any lag in terms of the UI and all that I already did a gaming test also uh, you can check it out it's gaming performance which is really nice phone and the price so I'm just going to take a look here uh, in terms of the speed uh, between the Galaxy, uh, between the iPhone 6 uh, Apple A8 and the Galaxy J7's uh, Exynos 7580. So I'm just going to power on both of these two phones first in the round one to see which one will be faster. iPhone 6 is with the iOS 8.4.1. So let's see. And as you can see, Galaxy J7 wins the race. Pretty awesome. And then we got our iPhone 6 here. Just going to open up different applications. So starting off from the Guardian. So I'm just going to connect to the same Wi-Fi connection. So I think I need to enter the password. So now we are connected to the same Wi-Fi connection. So let's just start off uh, with the, the Twitter application here. Here we go. And as you can see, both phones were really, really equal there. I'm just gonna open up the Guardian application. I hope I have installed it here. So yeah, I do have it. Here we go. And as you can see, iPhone 6 kind of loaded up the website first. I mean the app. Uh, we are now going to open up WhatsApp. Here we go. And again, you can see Galaxy J7 seems to be slightly faster there. Um, opening up the Viber, here we go. And again, Galaxy J7 seems to be the winner here. Uh, I'm just going to open up the calculator. So, pretty nice, pretty equal there. Um, opening up the settings. Wow. You can see Galaxy J7, even though a lot more cheaper here, going head to head against the iPhone 6. I mean, really nice optimization with the new Samsung phone. I'm really impressed. Opening up the Twitch. Wow, that was a that was a time there. Good timing by the iPhone 6. So just gonna open up different websites now with the, the Safari versus the So same Wi-Fi connection going and I'm just gonna connect to the WWE.com on both one at the same time to see which one will load faster. Okay, it's just gonna close and we're gonna go to some different website because I already opened up the wb.com there so phonearena.com and phonearena.com here so here we go let's see 
Wow, the iPhone 6 loaded the website first. You can see it's zooming in and out. It looks really, really smooth on both phones. As you can see, the web content are, is looking really awesome. And this has loaded the desktop view. I mean, it's really nice. No lag whatsoever. You can see that. That's pretty awesome. I'm not sure if you can enable the desktop mode here on the iPhone 6. Maybe there's an option on the website, but no. So it's going to open up another website which is going to be gsmarina.com gsmarina.com okay I'm just going to type it again and here we go and then again the iPhone 6 loaded the website first but kind of loaded the mobile one so I'm just going to enable the mobile view here uh, so zooming in and out is not possible in the mobile view. Just gonna quickly open up WWE.com. Uh, so far, you can see that uh, there's not like a big difference between these two phones going head to head. Um, I mean, definitely, if you want to have like a bit, uh, better build quality phone, what the hell? Okay, if you if you if you want a better build quality phone then definitely iPhone 6 can be a good choice but if you really want a phone that can give you a nice performance then yeah then definitely uh, Apple and then yeah the uh, Apple is good performance but you know price is <laughs> way too much so you can go with the Galaxy J7 so just gonna quickly go at the same time here we go and as you can see, iPhone 6 loaded the website first. Just gonna go and talk a little bit more about the camera on both phones. Now I only did a separate camera test. So this is an 8 megapixel sensor versus a 13 megapixel sensor. iPhone 6 has a way bigger sensor, so it's gonna give you a more of a brighter look. I noticed that, and as uh, a lot of people say, that iPhone 6 does have um, really nice photo quality. So we can't really call 4K video between um, you know in any, uh, on any of these two phones, uh, but definitely iPhone 6 has has this feature with 4K video recording. So uh, both have really nice camera application. I'm just gonna launch it. You can call video, take photos, and all that. Uh, front camera is 1.2 here versus 5 here. So uh, the best thing about this one is that it has this flash on the front camera, which is really awesome. Just like a really selective feature with the J7 series. That's pretty 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 neat. And then also, if we take a look at the um, at the battery on the both two of both of these two phones, uh, the Galaxy J7 is really amazing in terms of battery with the 3000 mAh battery on a 720p screen. It's doing great. iPhone 6 is not gonna last one day uh, with its 1800 mAh battery, 810 to be accurate. Uh, but it's getting better with the iOS 8.4.1. Uh, it can be a little bit more better with the iOS 9. Who knows? So definitely, I don't think so that you should spend more money just to get the real uh, smartphone speed and all that if you really want a better camera a build quality and iOS experience then definitely iOS iPhone 6 can be a good choice for you but so far as I showed you in speed test most of the tests uh, both were getting really really equal it's not like a big big difference so yeah this is a mid-range phone with the 27,000 PKR price point and this is 65,000 PKR price point iPhone 6 definitely it's up to you and we do get like fingerprint scanner here which is also a pretty nice feature for a, a big flashy phone so yeah if you want me to do any other video specifically between these two phones do let me know in the comment section down below and i'll see you guys in the next one peace out